the 20th edition of The Closest They Came, a series where we take a look back on the days when drivers, winless at NASCAR's highest level, came painfully close to etching their names into the history books. Today, we will be looking at Reed Sorensen's race in the 2006 Sony HD 500 from Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California. After starting out in quarter midgets, winning the national championship in 1997, and moving on to Legends cars, Reed Sorensen would make his first ASA star in 2002 at age 16, joining the series full-time in 2003, earning Rookie of the Year honors and drawing the attention of car owner Chip Ganassi. After signing a development deal with Ganassi for 2004 to make a handful of starts in both the ARCA Remax series and the NASCAR Bush series, he would finish in the top five in all three of his ARCA starts, including a win coming at Michigan Speedway. The race is over, but the celebration is about to begin in victory lane for one young Reed Sorensen. Don? Reed Sorensen, and only his second series start, is a big-time winner in big-time stock car racing at Michigan International Speedway. High fives for all. Congratulations, young man, 18 years young, looking like a veteran here today. I don't want to suggest that it was any way simple, but you almost made it look easy, was it? Well, the car was really good. This team worked really hard, and we got really good equipment here, so it makes it easier on me. Uh, just trying to get some big track experience out here, and uh, it was a good day for us, and it's, it's been a while since I won, so I'm pretty happy. Only your second start in this series and on a super speedway for that matter. Did you get the experience you were looking for? Did you learn a lot today? Oh, yeah, I just learned a lot about this track. I mean, just, these speeds are a lot different than what I'm used to. So just to get out here and get used to the air and all that stuff makes a big difference. In five Bush Series starts, he would earn three top tens with a best finish of fourth coming at Homestead Miami Speedway in November. For 2005, he would be tapped to run the full Bush Series schedule earning wins at Nashville and Gateway, and coming home fourth in points. He would also make his first two Cup Series starts late in the year at Atlanta and Homestead. For 2006, it was announced he would compete full-time in the Cup Series, competing for Rookie of the Year honors, while concurrently running the full Bush Series schedule once again. By the time teams pulled into Fontana, California on Labor Day weekend, Sorensen had made 26 starts in the Cup Series, having earned one top five and five top ten finishes up to that point, with a best career finish of fifth coming at the very similar Michigan Speedway ten races earlier. He would qualify 34th, averaging 178.869 miles per hour, taking the green from 31st after Scott Wimmer, Ken Schrader, and David Stremme dropped to the rear. He would make his way up to 23rd by the time Robbie Gordon spun in turn four on lap 10, bringing out the first yellow. During this era, Auto Club Speedway, being a two-mile track like Michigan, was known to put fuel mileage at a premium. The lead lap cars would take advantage here to top off. Following his stop, Sorensen would line up in 26th for the lap 14 restart. Steadily surging forward, he would reach the top 20 on lap 19 and make his way up to 15th before the caution would come out for debris on lap 28. He would pit with the leaders coming off in 14th in time for the lap 32 restart. He would remain in the top 20 throughout the next run, running in 15th before a round of green flag pit stops would commence, making his own stop on lap 79. Thanks, guys. Those are the top 15. Vickers, Sorensen, McMurray, Nemechek, and Casey Mears, the top 20. Every car is on the lead lap. The yellow would come out for debris once more on lap 82. Sorensen would restart from 17th on lap 87, hovering around the back end of the top 20 for the beginning part of the run. Mears is back there. Reed Sorensen in the 41. Well, this racetrack, I mean, don't count them out yet. I mean, this racetrack may come to some of these guys. If they're really, really loose right now, yep, they're holding on. As long as you're in the lead lap here in Fontana and you can stay there, this racetrack is going to change a lot. And all, you're going to see guys in the front all of a sudden disappear, and then we're going to see guys in this pack somewhere that are going to be up front before this race is over. He would make a surge forward deeper into the run, making his way up to 13th by lap 110 when Brian Vickers would suffer a catastrophic tire failure on the backstretch. The timing of this caution would bring every lead lap car to pit road. Sorensen would retain the 13th spot after his service. The action would resume on lap 116. Yeah. 
Sorensen would reach his high as 12th on this run before Debris would slow the event for the fifth time in lap 155. Pitting with the leaders, he would come out in 12th for the lap 160 restart. David Gilliland would spin coming off of turn two on lap 172, putting the event back under yellow. Sorensen would pit here, taking four tires and fuel. He would line up 14th for the restart on lap 179. Jeff Gordon restarts 25th after loose lug nuts on his pit stop and the second trip down pit road. The seventh and final caution flag of the day would wave on lap 191 for oil on the track. Pit strategies would split at this juncture, with a handful of teams considering trying to make it the rest of the way on fuel. The 41 team, led by crew chief Jimmy Elledge, would take four tires and fuel, along with electing to top off on the following lap before going back to green. With several teams electing to take two tires on their respective stops, they would relegate Sorensen to 23rd for the lap 196 restart. Some guys on the edge of their fuel window, 55 to go and we get the green. Yeah, definitely some guys are gonna try to make it all the way if it stays green. Slowly inching forward, he would re-enter the top 20 on lap 199 and the top 15 on lap 214. The 41 car reached Sorensen while he's driven past eight cars since the restart and he topped off with fuel. He'll be better than anybody else. As the leaders began to pit, the 41 team would commit to trying to make it to the end. Sorensen would officially take the lead for the first time on lap 241. Just before we went back to green under the caution, Clint Boyer reached Sorensen. Casey Mears among the drivers that topped off. Hearing that Sorensen plans to stay out. We heard that Mears plans to go to the finish. There's Sorensen. Dave Burns. They radioed to Reed. Buddy, we're staying out. We're going to win this thing. And he said, no, I need to come in for tires, right? <laughs> no, he said that uh, putting on tires would delay his uh, run to victory lane there, Walt. Okay. <laughs> Wow, Reed Sorensen out front with nine to go. JJ. Nobody around him. Either. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's like, yeah. Reed Sorensen looking for his first NASCAR Nextel Cup Series win. Jimmy Ellich, his crew chief. Drives for Chip Ganassi, Felix Sabatis. Dave, you down there? Yep, this is a brand new race car for them this weekend. It's run very strong. He's running the top 15 all night, but this was a gamble that paid off on fuel. Reed Sorensen is just 20 years old from Peachtree City, Georgia. Right now, it's Sorensen, J.J. Yaley, and Clint Boyer running the top three. Kane is fourth, 9.8 seconds behind Sorensen. Four to go this time. Now, if they told them, I, I don't know what they've told them. Because, if, you know, they, say, they, say they, they still go around. Yeah, I mean, that, again, that's exactly right. Dave, if they told them, okay, you got fuel, go for it, or we're just going for it. Go for it and pedal easy. Okay. Now, we've had a discussion about long gears before. What does pedal <laughs> easy mean, Wally? <laughs> you and your long gear. You save fuel. Save fuel, Reed. You can make it, but save some. More on Sorensen, Dave. Okay, new definition for pedaling. They said, Reed, peddler good, peddler big. Here comes the nine car. I guess peddling means drive hard. Well, you, you may as well, because you're not coming in. Peddler, still got six seconds, two more to go. You, so obviously they made a decision. They're going to run out or they're going to win this thing. Trying, so. Don't, it'll pick up. don't worry about that long gear is what I'm saying. Unfortunately, the effort would come up just short as the engine would sputter with two laps to go. Oh, he's out of gas. Year, he's out of gas. Where's out, out, out of gas, Jimmy? And watch Casey Kane come roaring by in that red car. They gambled and lost. He would ultimately cross the line in 21st as Casey Kane would snag his fifth win of the season and sixth of his career. Sorensen would continue to make Cup Series starts for Ganassi through 2008 and a myriad of team owners through 2020, making his most recent start at Texas Motor Speedway for Spire Motorsports. He would eventually compile a total of five top five and 15 top 10 finishes in the Cup Series as of the recording of this video. 
Continuing to make starts in the nationwide, later Xfinity series during this span, he would earn two additional victories at Gateway and Road America. Reed Sorensen was a highly regarded prospect in the early 2000s, seeing notable success in multiple national touring series before his 21st birthday. Unfortunately, economic and performance-related circumstances would stifle his development and opportunities at the cup level. Though his time in competitive equipment was short, on one Sunday evening in California, he nearly became victorious at NASCAR's highest level.